previously on the Thirst Lounge. You look, you look like a tired man. I'm more so pissed off, to be completely honest. I'm like irked and annoyed. I didn't drag a pot for three damn hours. I don't know, this is the most annoyed I've been in a minute. We come back on Monday at noon for day three for my little, my little stack, oh my little stack. We'll see what happens. So yes, um, it is day three of the main event, which I actually can't even believe I can say that. I, I actually was a little sad and down the last time you saw me and uh, it, was, it was actually good to feel that. Uh, you know, reflecting a little bit, it, it was good to feel that. It was nice to kind of be reminded of how important some things are, despite uh, how I really try to, you know, control my emotions at times and uh, be strong. Uh, that moment of weakness really just reminded me how um, special this moment is and how lucky I am just to even be here on day three with 17 big blinds. It's not even like I have five big blinds or two big blinds. Uh, I have a shot, I have a real shot at this. And all I need is one double up, 34 big blinds. I've already looked at my table draw. There's maybe only one person who could just be like, mm call you know what I mean uh, so I have fold equity I'm in a pretty good spot and you know what if there's ever a story this is part of those best stories is that low moment so I'm very hopeful I'm excited and uh, I'm ready to go so you know just wish us luck we're gonna be heading over in about 20 minutes we still have a bunch of heroes that are still in this tournament Lawrence Smitty I mean uh, that's just immediate people that we've been hanging out recently but there's tons of other people still in it so I'm wishing everybody else good luck I hope to spin up and uh, I hope for the story here, everybody. I really do. So follow us as we go. Come on. No, you're not on take care of One third and seven. Oh, one third. Please welcome to the stage the newest Kelly Meekin. And she called with two overs. Yeah, well, I, I had uh, re-raised to, uh, she rivered an ace on me. Uh, add it to the river. Add it to the river, man, I can't believe that. That was so sick. And it's so sick, too, that we did eights versus ace king the other night. I looked down at eights, I was like, yeah, man, I'm feeling it. It looks good. Um, put out a big raise, this lady just calls, and she was the rec player at the table, which is obviously awful. And that's me being bitter right now, by the way. I don't mean that, because I don't know, but, um, yeah. And then, pot's like 50K, I put in my last, like, 14. She's like, let's see if we can get lucky. Calls with Ace King on the Queen Queen next. And Rivers and Ace, so. And, uh, I guess I'm okay, I played, I got to see three, four hands, and that's it. And now we're out, so, um. It hurts. It hurts. That would have been the double up that like literally that right there puts us at like 70k. It doesn't even matter. It doesn't even matter. But um, Probably didn't touch on that Drew. What was the eights versus ace king game? Two nights ago? Two nights ago after the day three Brando and I were just unwinding because you, if you watched the video you saw I was a little annoyed and stuff like that but uh, we went back and then uh, we were like practicing our intuition, practicing our flips. You know, Brando grabbed a deck of cards, it dealt pocket eights and ace king, and then I had to guess which hand was gonna win, you know, just like trust that intuition and stuff. And uh, we were doing pretty good. Brando sucked at it. I was doing pretty good. I was like 75% on which was gonna win or not. So it's just really funny that I would look down at eights and I would end up busting out to ace king. You know, so we like we practiced that spot. We practiced it. You know, I felt good about it. We didn't put enough reps in. Her. I don't know, man. But yeah, so that was sick. I'm sad. 
I'm not even mad, disappointed, annoyed. I'm just straight up sad. Like, I, I don't even have any feelings over it. Like, I don't want to hit anything. I don't want to break anything. I just feel, I feel empty. I feel empty. That's the only way I know how to describe it right now. It's probably the hardest part, knowing what's next. I guess we just go back to the islands, a bit broker than we left, and grind again. I literally don't even feel like doing anything. I don't know what I feel like doing. It's, I don't know if I want to be in this building. I just don't know where I want to be. Yeah, let's go. I feel much better now. And uh, the dust has settled, the emotions have, even though it was a weird emotion, like I said, but I feel better now. You know, I have uh, I put out a tweet and asked people, I was like, oh, I'm sad, basically. Tell me something to make me feel better. And everybody gave a lot of really good perspective, a lot faster than I would have been able to do it myself, right? So uh, I'm glad I did that. I feel good, man. It, you know, it wasn't, it was a fun summer. It was the first time I ever got to stay out here this long and just kind of embrace the WSOP journey. You know, got to play multiple bracelet events, travel all around, meet a bunch of people. You know, we had our own house and I can't complain. I'm going back to the islands in the next couple of days here with, I mean, more than enough of a bankroll that I need to just get back on to party poker and grind and rebuild my role. This has lit my fire a little bit. I was thinking about it and looking at some notes. Uh, maybe I'll try to get to run it up Reno. That seems like a really cool stop at the end of the year, but I'm basically, I'm looking forward to the future. I'm not sad anymore. I'm thankful for the opportunity and that I got to play. And the support from everybody, that really means heaps. And you know, now that the dust has settled, I feel really blessed, lucky, fortunate and grateful that I had this opportunity. So um, we'll be back in the island soon. Thanks everybody, I hope you enjoyed the video. Hang on. What, what else we got? I forgot, tell me. Vegas summer's not over yet. Oh yeah, so we're still here for two days. And, but before that. Okay, uh, hang on, Vegas summer is still not over. The daily? Yeah. Oh yeah, we're gonna play the uh, daily here at Planet Hollywood and kind of further decompress, maybe have a drink and unwind and play just a little, have fun with the game, which I'm actually pretty excited about. It feels like the exact right play right now to get back out there, but um, not gonna be able to play like a long tournament or anything. So it's gonna be fun. And Brando says he's gonna stack me if we're at the same table, very confidently too. So uh, I will let you know if that happens. And if it does, probably quitting poker. So that's it. Guys, I'd like to apologize in advance for Drew quitting poker. <laughs> it's, uh, it's sad it had to happen like this, but I'm sorry, buddy. It's all good. And, and there's a weird amount of respect that I have for him saying that. You know, it's that competitive blood. So we'll see what happens, okay? We'll just see. Drewski. Yeah? What are you doing? Drew, Drew, no! <laughs> I need a little more. This is gonna be the one that changes the trick. <laughs> but for real, how was the tournament? Uh, the tournament was fun. The tournament was fun. Uh, I feel unwound. It felt like a vacation. It reminded me of what it was like to uh, um, play poker before you like knew what you were doing and you could like get upset with yourself and it's like, oh, the cards and stuff like that. So it was fun. Had a couple drinks and now I am officially announcing my retirement from the MTT poker scene. I am moving to dancing. <laughs> oh. Yeah, the tournament's fun. We got a couple days left, Brando and I, to unwind. So we'll see what happens. <laughs> Drew, stop. Stop, Drew. I need someone to help make him stop. Cash out. Cash out while oh, you're ahead. Nope. I'm going to do one single bet. One, one bet. Back. You did that already. Oh, man. We got to stand, Priestley. Stay. Yes. Now you're, you're back even. Back to even. Back to up, 10, up 5 bucks. Wow. So everybody, we are at the airport. Brando and I are headed back to the islands. Um, but that's the end of our Vegas trip. We had one day off here the last day and uh, just kind of hanging out and having a day off from poker. So it was good. Overall, it was an incredible trip. We learned a lot. We lost a lot. We gained a lot. 
and um, I'm ready to get back to the islands, honestly. So uh, yeah, I hope that you all enjoyed this Vegas journey, this trip. There was a lot of stuff to it. If you haven't already seen it, go back and check our YouTube videos from the beginning of the month. You'll be able to kind of see a nice little timeline of everything that had happened. But uh, the next time you see me and everybody else, we'll be back on the islands producing that good old island content for you. So if you did enjoy the videos, don't forget. Look for our pal. Longest thing ever. Okay, so if you didn't hear what she said, she said if you enjoy the YouTube channel, don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave a comment below. And we'll catch up with you later. Peace.